a quick close up of this for a thumbnail. Anakin's Jedi Interceptor. Do that for a thumbnail real quick. Let me grab this bad boy, scooch it over a smidge. All right, we got our Twitch chat set up. It's pretty decent. We got this here to build. Let me get my Twitch chat pop back up. There we go. Everything is perfect. Perfect. That video has some delay. Video has a little bit of delay, but that shouldn't be a problem. Nobody's really gonna be focused on my face. We're gonna be focusing on the build here. It's Anakin's Jedi Interceptor from Attack of the Clones. It doesn't come with any of the crab droids that attack, but this is what we're going to be building. Let's start recording. Jedikin's anti intercept. I mean, Anakin's Jedi interceptor. Let's get this bad boy opened. Looks like we got these little stickers here. Stickers always suck. I don't know why they put them on here. One sticker. Stop the recording. Running at 57 frames a second. Alright, we got the stickers off. We're gonna start recording again just to get the video right this time. Building Anakin's Jedi Interceptor, 248 pieces, 7 and up. Let's get right into this. We got bag number one. Bag number three. Our instruction manual, stickers, the cockpit, and this is also a great thing with this desk is, I've got this little shelf thing here, and Bag number two, one, two, three, stickers, cockpit, and instruction manual. <clears throat> so the first things that we're gonna be building according to this are the cockpit, the characters, right wing, left wing. Build the characters, that's not that hard. Not 
this time, I say we do the build. So do it pretty slow this time. Just try and get some, try and get some nice quality time together. Alrighty, we got the first bag open now. Let's find, here's three of the R2 pieces. Ah, here's R2's head. We got two lightsaber hilts for some reason. We got the lightsaber blade. <clears throat> Anakin's chest, legs, his face. Don't know how well y'all can see that. His face. And his girly hair as usual Let's start throwing them together I'm gonna stash the extra hilt off to the side just in case it's an extra piece oh he's got two faces on here so he's got calm and collected and angry I say we go with the angry face. Chuck the hair on. And he's even got two different colored hands to indicate that one of them is robotic. The black hand would be his robot hand covered by his glove. Pop the lightsaber together. Throw that in the robot hand, like so. Let's get R2-D2 built, starting with the head. Gotta make sure his little eyeball faces forwards. Little eyeball facing forwards. And you just Pop the legs in. And boom, R2-D2. R2-D2. Now, <clears throat> I'm set those off to the side. And before we go any further, I do have this one thing that I want to show. This, I found my <clears throat> original run Geonosian fighter. It's missing some pieces, but I have found some on eBay for 30 bucks. <clears throat> so let me know in chat or down in the description whenever the YouTube video is posted. If y'all want to see me make one of those, and I will gladly order it. So get all these pieces right here. So we can bring the instruction manual in. Okay, we need to find this piece lying right on top. With a two by three inverted slope. Another two by four quarter block behind it. 
with this blue and red to give it the full height. <laughs> yellow two by one and another two by three inverted slope behind it with this yellow piece just like this j j just like this uh, uh, this way yeah yeah there we go it's slightly better yeah <clears throat> and this two by eight which is gonna pop on right behind the little yellow guy These little inverted blocks, they rattle. That's kind of cool, I guess. Oh, these must be what shoots. Yeah, they got springs in them. If you notice here on the front, we got this little green coming out. I would assume that that's what these are for, is these are for shooting those green missiles. So these guys go on like so. Here it is. There's the photo. Flip it upside down. Grab these four. These just snap into the bottom here. We're listening to Stream Beats Official's dubstep playlist right now. Thought it was fitting, get some electronic music bumping while we're building Star Wars. I just thought it'd be kind of fitting. Okay, now we're back on top with this two by one yellow going across the back here. This weird guy immediately behind it like so. And we get another one of this guy with these one by six holes snapped onto it. Just like that, snapped on, and then those go right there these are one by fours with three holes in them are gonna get connected y'all might hear my dogs downstairs being annoying as usual only when I'm trying to record We got these guys, which are corner slopes. Pop right onto the front here. Like so. We got more of that fragmenting going on. Ooh. So we need both of these little blue see-through domes 
four of these two by two circles. Two of these end caps. And two of these little half connector, half uh, spines. We go blue first with the two by two circles on top, the end cap on top of that, spine side in, and that pops right on the back. Do that twice. There's both of the jets. <clears throat> and we need this guy and this guy. Goes on top like this with this back here. Then we get a one by six and a two one by sixes and a two by four. Two by four presses on there. These next to it. Yeah, there's that. It's coming along pretty well so far. We need a brown half slope two by one and a gray half slope two by one. And our final two by four, which goes on here with the brown slope in front, gray behind it, like so. And then these two. These guys pop on here in the back, like so. Then we need the more subtle, calmer slopes and a two by one with a one stud attachment on top. Ah, we forgot a piece. We need this black two by one to go right there. I'm hoping y'all can hear me well, or well enough. Ha, huh, caught it. There we are. Our other brown half slope there with this little one by one brown half slope directly on top of that one stud block that we put on a second ago. Black two by one with the gray slant and sticker number two. We're going to go ahead and throw sticker number two on here. That's crooked as hell. I don't like it. Uh, 
Oh man, and I just clipped my nails too. Alright, that's a little better. Alright, that's as good as we're going to get it, which is good enough for me. And that goes right here at the end of these three studs. It goes right here. This is going to be the seat, I assume, which makes that the console. <clears throat> Flip it around. We need a two by one with hole, a half joint with stud on the end, and this gray two by one with a one stud on top. Stick those together like so. And that goes right behind our console. Like such. Next. So this guy with a double sided cross. And it goes in like that, just the tip. Ha ha ha. And then that pops on to the back there. It's a little bit of adult humor. Looks like we are moving on to the final little bit of it. We take this bad boy which is spines on one side, pop-in connector on the other side. Looks like we're gonna go with the spine side. Go ahead and get that in. <clears throat> then we need a two by one with this, or a four by one with a two by one with cross adapter on it. <clears throat> then we push that onto the spine with this little guy on here like that. And then that gets put in here which gets closed. Creates a little flap there. Okay, now the cockpit, which goes like this with this guy. Oh, look at that, it spins. And then that little hinge we made is for the cockpit. Nice. Now we just flip it on the bottom real quick. Take these little two by two upside down domes. Chuck those on like that. It glides a lot smoother. Next page, we need bag number two. Which also means, let me reach back here, 
which also means parts box. Chuck those in there and keep this over here just in case we need it. And uh, sorry to tell you this, but there is no bag ASMR for y'all this time. Alrighty, step number 28, starting with a gray 2x4, and these two. These go in the middle of the 2x4, which this bag is the left wing of the interceptor. Then we take a 2x3, pop that there on the back, and then these little triangles will go on as well, like such. Flip it one by four, light gray. Pops into the bottom to give it more structure and someone to care for it. And then two by eight in yellow bring it all the way to the front snap it in so when we flip it it looks like this we take this two by one pop it at the top of the yellow and for anybody watching or anybody just joining us we are doing the Anakin's Jedi Interceptor Lego set. We're building it right now. So far, we've got the cockpit. Our little Anakin with robot hand. And a cute little R2-D2. Are we still live? I hope we're still live. <clears throat> we're running at about 52 FPS. Our live is at about 30 minutes. So yeah, we're still rocking on the live. Zero dropped frames, like whatsoever. That's amazing. You can see down here in the chat, we got what the stream is. And then we've got my little YouTube link. And just type that in and I'll take you to my YouTube page. Back into this. We need this weird little guy and a 2x3. Pop this guy on down here. And then 
that limbs at least snaps on like that. Need a two by four, a two by three, and this thing. This thing pops in here. This two by three here. And the two by four under all of that. Flip the page. Grab another two by four. The or yet. This two by six. If ugh. okay, this two by four, this two by six. I don't know what just happened there with the video, but that was garbage. We got this two by four, this two by six. This guy, I don't even know what that is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like a one by 12. <clears throat> and another two by four. Take the first two by four, throw the two by six right here in the middle of it. Take the two by 12, split it in half there. And put the two by four down here on the end. This is what we're working with right now. Let's pop it over. We got a one by four here. A one by four here to fill in the gap. Pop it back over. Got another two by six in right here. Flip it back over, take another two by four, pop it down right here. Flip it over one more time, hopefully the last time. And then all the way over here. Looks like there with that, get a little two by one yellow here yep there's that <clears throat> we need these two one by one with the coupler on it and this gray two by one I don't, I don't crooked piece is what we're gonna call this bad boy Throw that on right there with the two by one with coupler there and there. And then that gets attached to this guy like that. Got the nice decent section of a uh, Wing starting here. Did y'all guess what the next step was? Flip it over again. We take this guy, which is a three by four with arm attachments. Ram the arm attachments in there which a good rule in life, don't ram your arm into anything it's not supposed to be in. Having monkey feet is good for that right there. All right, we got these two guys in. With it flipped over facing this way, it attaches like so. These are gonna wind up going into, if you can see, these holes right here. That's where they're gonna wind up attaching at. 
I can tell you that just by looking at it, flipped over again, we need this guy right there with a, another two by one next to it. Need a one by four with studs only on the end. These two by ones with slats. And then just normal two by ones. This guy goes right across here with these directly under it. And then the slats running up and down in the middle. That is what we're looking like so far. Ooh, step 50 requires this guy and one of these. This guy pops in here with the yellow slat there. Y'all can see that. Ah, how did I know? This hole right here, that is for, spoiler alert by the way, is R2-D2 rests in that hole there. Okay, and then we need this little shield looking piece with one of our sticker number fours. That is what we come out looking like. And then that goes on right there. Next, we need a one by four and this guy with the one by four going here and that guy right there. It's, we just put in this one by four with this guy on top of it. Oh, now comes the fun part. This three by eight with a slant starting on the third stud. This guy popped right on the back with a one by one. This sticker number one slapped right smack dab oh damn stickers not even can't really see that see if you can tell there got a nice little uh, Republic symbol on it that goes on the end here I might snap a photo of it once it's done and turn that into the thumbnail 
then that bad boy pops on like so right here this is what we just built flip it over this piece and a one by one stud one by one stud goes right here with this right here and we take these one two three the one by six yellows with flat tops This one goes here. This one goes here with a one by one square stud. Poked right at their joint. One by one square stud here. One by six yellow flat. Flip over to the bottom side. Need two by three and one by four. One by four goes here, two by three right there. guys ew why are you doing that camera oh the phone might be overheating but that's fine now we take this 3x3 three three, and it goes there with 2x1 with coupler on the end Facing inwards, and a one by one circle stud, right, ba -ba -bum. next to it, there, three by three, two by one with coupler, and that one by one circle the YouTube link and my discord link have both dropped again take this upside down slope with this little frying pan looking thing put that in there and then that goes right there. And then we make another one of it. This time, this black lightsaber hilt goes on the end. And those are going to be basically the two blasters. Okay, so we got this weird thing with these two domes here. That goes in here. This goes in. And 
there. Do it again. And the opposite end. Now we take this long guy here. Poke it in one of the ends. And then that pops in right there. So that's our inside blaster with our outside blaster. Yeah. <clears throat> flip it, flip the book. Then we take this one with this one. Pops together like so. And it goes on at the back of the three by three. So we're looking at one more. Taking these guys with these three pieces and this dome. Two by one with the one stud on the inside of the bottoms. With a two by two flat connecting them and then the upside down smooth dome. That's what this looks like here now. And then that pops on like so. Creates our little cradle for R2D2. Back over to the top half. Take both of these guys. One here. One here with our last two by one yellow slat. Right there. Next up, we need these four, one by one square with coupler. Those go on these round ones, like so. which is when we add, take the long stick, pop it into the fold, do it again. Then we take one of our, one set of our number three sticker I'm gonna put it on the smooth side. It's not even, but you know, it's too much of a hassle to try and get everything to be even. So I give up. And these bad boys go on the inside. And just like I said would happen, we face this towards the front and pop it in just like that. Now, there we go. It can be
flattened out. These can fold in. We'll set that off to the side. And now we go for bag number three, but let's see. Ah, the phone's pretty cool. We can keep going. Ready, we're about to start working on bag number three. Got these little guys, which are gonna be our proton blasts. Got one, two, three of them don't roll away just yet starting with another two by four with it's basically everything we did in step two it's just gonna be mirrored this time because it's going on the right side Two by three immediately behind it with two triangles again. Flip it, put a one by four across it, give it more structure. This time with our two by eight yellow, we bring it all the way towards us. Flip it back over. We need a two by one far away from us. Two by three with this guy. <clears throat> Goes on it again like that. It comes over here. Ooh, spicing it up this time. A two by two with this on it. Put that there, that pops in there. Make sure everything is pressed together as much as possible. Then we take a two by three Slap that in there. Ooh, the bottom is different this time. Two by 12, one by 12, two by four. Two by 12 goes in the middle, one by 12 on its left side. Flip on to the bottom. We got a 
one, two, three, four, two by four here, one by four on top of it, and a one by four connecting both of our two by fours, like such. On top, bring it back up here one by six I'll flip it back over one by four to connect it here back on top take this and it can Next, like such. Give us four across, two, two, one. <clears throat> Take this three by four with our arm attachments. Smack those bad boys in here. Throw that on the bottom again flip over to the top we need this bad boy comes in right here or else it's gonna get a spanking two by one but yellow immediately under it do a one by four here with this smooth two by four next to it. It's coming along pretty nice. This weird one by two with studs only on the end. Get two two by ones with studs, two two by one slat pieces. Why is the phone taking so long? Give it a second for the video to catch back up. The video is far behind, so this is kind of going to be like a, like I'm a narrating. Just do like a straight up narration. The video fell way behind, but that's fine. Two by twos or two by ones with studs. Again, go at the end with the slats in between them. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna stop the recording. We're going to let that do its thing. And we are going to, after I get that off of its stand, we're gonna hop over here And we're going to play We're going to do a little bit of gaming real quick just to give the phone time to call, uh, cool back down let the processor um, cool off as well just so we don't brick the phone and 
Let's find something to play or something to do. We'll see what's going on in the Discord. Close that out for a second. Pull up our games list. Let's check it on our Leaf Blower Revolution. It's been a minute since we played that. Updating Leaf Blower Revolution. health or something all right we got 35 million green leaves what should we should max out our fertilizer max out all that hope y'all can still hear me fairly well Phone is cooling down pretty decently, which is a good thing. Rubies. Not gonna buy any time travel. But we can buy a new leaf blower. Ooh, this is a new tab. Leaf Blower's Journey. The journey begins. Well, it's that time of year again. The leaves are starting to fill up the yard. So I've been out there getting rid of what I can. It's the strangest thing, though. The more leaves I seem to get rid of, the more I find next time. And while this in itself is perplexing, I'm more bewildered that I find the work enchanting. In some way, they're just leaves. Nothing special about them at all. And yet I can't seem to pull myself away from clearing them. The leaf blower. I had to make a run to the store. I realized that bagging leaves by hand or a small handrake wasn't going to cut it. So I went and bought a small leaf blower. It really does the trick. I also saw the stores having a special and a new gadget. The automatic leaf blower. Or ALB for short. I figured I'd try them out, seeing as I can never quite get all the leaves. That's pretty cool. They added in some lore. Claim our daily reward. It's been a hot minute since we've played. Let's buy platinum leaves. Max out our trees. Max out our fertilizer. Max out our marketing. Nuclear fuel. Max combo by leaf combo. And now when we hit our combo on leaves, everything gets multiplied. Let's 
Oh, I see we still have a viewer. Hello, viewer. Just in case you just showed up, we're taking a little break from our Lego build just to let my phone camera cool down because it was affecting the video. In a couple of minutes, we're going to jump right back into it. Close out leaf blower. Open back up OBS. Bring the chat back in front of it so I can see everything. And get the camera back on its tripod. Just for a little change in view. Raise it up. That there. That there. Let me get everything set back up on the computer. We'll come over to just chatting for a second. <laughs> 